lots more action this season. Um, our ADs have been tearing their hair out because we have so many, um, and our AD doesn't have much hair anyway. So when we are dropped into season two, uh, how long have the Runaways been on the run? Um, when we drop into season two, I, it's, uh, it's almost immediately. I feel like it's two, three days. And so it's exciting to kind of watch them, you know, the survival tactics kick in and, and where they're going to get their next meal and where they're going to get their clothes and where are they going to live. You got to share everything. Everything, makeup, hair brushes, toothbrushes. You got to take turns taking baths and showers with everybody. It's hard. It's tough. What is it like to go on the run with a dinosaur? Uh, I mean, it's a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because you have a dinosaur. I feel like that eases a little bit of the anxieties of like, am I about to be attacked? Well, whoever attacks me is about to get attacked by a dinosaur, so that's really their problem. We have to get creative with where we store old lace in public, and feeding her becomes a challenge also, so there's, there's some old lace drama this year for sure. All right, so the fans are really excited by Chase and Gert's relationship in the show. Are we going to be getting more of that in season two? Uh, absolutely. You're going to see Chase and Gert go through some wonderful moments, and you're also going to see maybe some not so wonderful moments. Um, and I think it's definitely a roller coaster throughout season two. I think being in a relationship as a teenager is tough enough. I think being in a relationship as a teenager in an underground mansion, hidden from the rest of the world, running away uh, makes life difficult on top of that. So in season one, we only got like a little taste of everybody's abilities. Yes. In season two, do we get to see more of that? And how are the characters exploring their new abilities? Almost every episode has a battle this season, so there's so much more action. I'm currently very, very sore because uh, I don't know how much I can say about this, but there's a huge battle scene that's coming up, a lot of stunt work, and a lot of fighting. And I think Carolina, personally, last season she was afraid to embrace who she was, afraid to embrace her powers, and this season she fully embraces it. I mean, I got to fly like 60 feet up in the air at one point. Everyone's kind of fleshing out their powers to make them better, and even Alex, although he doesn't have a power, even he gets his hands in on proving his worth in a way to, to the runaways. In the comic books, Alex betrays the group. Is that something, I mean, without giving away any spoilers, any sort of hints of that? It's not just from Alex. We, we all have to watch our backs from everybody. Um, as much as we do want to rely on each other and trust each other, you never know. What has been the coolest thing about being a part of a huge Marvel show? Just the community in general. You guys are awesome. Like, not only the love and support we have on a day-to-day -day basis, but just to see how excited you guys get to see this live-action version of a comic book that was so phenomenal. Keep up the love, guys. We really love you. <laughs> Who breaks the most on set? Renzi. 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 Oh, Renzi. <laughs> Renzi. Oh, my God. It'd be me. I break yeah, a lot. That's what that. they all said. Yeah, yeah.